In the 1800s, narrow boats often carried 30 tonne loads, and it wasn't uncommon for some to hit hidden obstacles and sink. Raising a sunken boat blocking a waterway was a priority to keep cargo moving, and to do so required ingenious techniques and equipment. During the heyday of the BCN, there were thousands of joey, or day boats, plying their trade. Inevitably, there were mishaps. Boats would be sunk because of leaks, swamped by rain, or be in collisions with other boats or objects. Bear in mind that these boats would be heavily loaded with little freeboard, so it did not take much to put the water over the gunnel. Here we have the boat we need to raise, the Birchills. As you can see, its gunnels are well under. No point just putting in a pump and trying to pump it out. The two joey boats are positioned each side of the sunken boat. Each joey boat has a series of planks made into a working platform at each end. It not only makes for safer working, for as the beams are not as long as the originals, it makes sure they are in contact with all four gunnels. If they don't spread right across, the boats will tip over as the weight comes on them. If the boat is fully loaded, then there is not actually much room for water in it so a small pump will easily pump the boat out. If there is a hole in the boat causing it to leak, a piece of canvas or some ash can be dropped down the side, anything just to seal the hole. The suction from the pump will pull it into the hole and therefore seal it. If you'd like to buy a copy of the complete version of this film on DVD, or to learn about techniques used to raise sunken boats, Go to iarecordings.org and click on the link for sightseeing partnerships at the bottom of the page.